Next question, question 4. If there is a policy that one third of population of community has migrated every year from one place to some other place, what is the leftover population of that community after the sixth year? If there is no further growth in the population during this period. So this is just like how we do the compound interest. So the, if we assume that the initial population was 1, uh, then we will get the answer as 1 into 1 minus 1 third population is reducing rise to 6 or we have 2 by 3 rise to 6 or 2 rise to 6 is 64 and 3 raised to 6 is um, 9 cube 9 cube is uh, 729 so our answer is 64 by 729 D so if you didn't understand how this works this is just like compound interest we do compound interest here instead of uh, plus um, the compound if you remember the compound interest formula is principal into 1 plus R by um, n by rise to n similarly the same concept we are using here instead of positive rate here we have a negative rate so uh, no need to by heart that formula and all i will show you why this is the case say first we will assume um, the initial population was one then what happens to after one year one year one third population migrates so that means minus 1 by 3 is the uh, population, the total population after the first year. Okay. After first year, one third population migrates. Okay. I will just write first year. First year, 1 minus 1 by 3 is the final population. Now what happens in second year? This is the new population. I am not going to find, uh, th use 3 minus 1 by 2 by 3. I'm going to write this as 2 by 3. I will show you why. Uh, so in the second year this population further get reduced by get reduced by one third so how can we write that one minus one by three or one minus one by three into one third this population further reduced by one one third so if you take one minus one by three common what we will get one minus one by three into 1 minus 1 by 3 so that becomes 1 minus 1 by 3 the whole square so after second migration we will get 1 minus 1 by 3 square as our uh, final population so similarly after third year what happens 1 minus 1 by 3 the whole square is the new population and it further reduce get reduced by one third so if you take 1 minus 1 by 3 the whole square as common we will again get 1 minus 1 by 3 you will get 1 minus 1 by 3 the whole cube as population after third year so if you see after one year 1 minus 1 by 3 then second year 1 minus 1 by 3 the whole square third year 1 minus 1 by 3 the whole cube so similarly after sixth year what will happen 1 minus 1 by 3 the whole raised to 6 will be the answer so that is why we got this formula so, uh, compound interest formula is also derived just like this. We use the concept of simple interest and then see what happens every after every um, uh, compounding period. We just add the simple interest to the in, uh, pr principal amount and then uh, if you see, we get that final formula derivation. So similarly, we got uh, this equation here. If we if you know the answer, you could add, write, arrive at the final answer in just few seconds. So even if you didn't know, you could simply write it, write down like this and see that it is a pattern. And by the uh, second time itself, you will see the pattern coming up. Uh, or even at least by third time, you will see it is 1 minus 1 by 3, the whole cube. And you can say by sixth year, it will be 1 minus 1 by 3 raised to 6. Okay. So that is the solution. Solution to question 4 is D, 64 by 729 part of population.